Hey, first and foremost, I'd like to say, call a lawyer, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth, shalom, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do, um, you know, no matter what. Hey, shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yah Meyer from the great millstone Chicago camp. And uh, basically, I'm going to just get right to it, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, if he, if he elected you, if he woke you up, it's a good chance that you are part of the election. All right, it's a big portion of our people. When I say our people, I'm talking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that have never hear this word or understand the, 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 the truth of this word. And if the Lord called you to do that, then, then, then you are called to do the work, brother. All right? And that's the attitude you should have. You shouldn't have an attitude of fear, of fretting, of doubting, of being scared, the, the, the what if mentality. The bottom line is to do the work, man. All right? Because you, if you're doing the work or if you're not doing the work, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to judge you accordingly. When I say judge accordingly, it's to the scriptures, man. The scriptures say to the law and the testimony. If they speak not according to this, it's because there's no light in them. So this is the only thing. This is the standard. All right? King David told King Solomon, I go. Uh, uh, the way of all the earth when he was passing to the spirit world and what did he say gird up thy loins like a man to do the laws the statutes and the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah so hey we've been called to do this work man just do the work with all your might man hey you know I'ma just get it alright it says uh, let me see This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. It said, Whatever whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. So you 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 got a one-shot deal. Alright. I mean, uh, of course, you know, we fall down, we get up, we make mistakes because we rehearsing the righteous acts in the land of our captivity. Uh, the land of drawn waters are uh, pursuing the judges 5 and 11 but hey we only got one time this lifetime hey, to do this man hey this is the last hurrah so whatever thou findest thy hand to do it do it with all thy might we don't have to bicker we don't have to bitch hey you're gonna be afflicted anyway you're gonna go through car troubles job troubles woman troubles anyway man and the, and the love the, 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 this place is fading away man there's nothing else here to do all we have to do is do the work to the best of our ability, man. The scripture said that the afflictions of this present world are not even compared to what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, the treasures that he has stored up for us. Yahweh Shah said in his house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have said it. And you can think about the best architect, the best builders, the best whoever, you know, that can create a house. And if you knew this dude was making you a house, you'd be like, damn, I got my shit made by so-and-so. And you about to get a galaxy. You about to get your own realm made by Yahweh Shai himself. And as the elder apostle Kabar mentioned, hey, he been working on that for 2,000 years. So just uh, let alone the glory, the dominion, the rulership, all that's being set up. And that's why we down here taking the small L's for the big W, as I say, you know, because that's what it is. But the Lord has chosen an elect man to push this work and you should push it at a high value punches and bunches with the word going out on the line praying reading presenting your body as a living sacrifice all right fasting you know curbing yourself curbing your flesh hey this is uh first corinthians 1 and uh verse 26 it says for ye see your calling brethren how that not many wise men after the flesh not many mighty not many noble are called because that's of a truth guy. We have some dudes who, who come from great walks of life that come in this truth, but that's not a majority basis to this truth. Not many high educated, high value people come into this truth. Now you have a few brothers here and there, you know, that was um, so-called smart, so-called successful in this world, you know. We have brothers that come into the truth of speech impediments, but the Lord put the spirit on them. Brothers that can barely read, but the Lord put the spirit on them for this word to go out. Brothers, they, cause, cause if, if the stings and the birds and the, 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 the doctors of, uh, like the other apostle Ram, I say the doctors of divinity and the theologian guys came and presented this to the world. Hey, I, Jake accepted. We are missed. We are parable. This could only be if Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that this great knowledge it is is compacted to just what the world looked at as niggas. Hey, that's why when the apostles and the disciples taught, he said they taught his uh 
uh, um, they, they spoke with unlearned men. Hey, I've never even been, I've been, I only went to high school for a couple months, man. I never went to fucking graduated and, and did all this bullshit. You know, I was running about in the, being blind, man. You know, fucking around. You know, but the Lord gave me this wisdom through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's where all the pride goes, man. And that's how, why we understand that this is a very great, mighty thing, man, that we don't deserve anyway. But the Lord, this is according to his plan. Verse 27, it says, But Yahweh have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and Yahweh have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the mighty, Salaki, to confound the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world, the low things, all right? He's with an underdog. It says, And things which are despised have Yahweh chosen, and things which are not to bring to naught the things that are, because we're breaking strongholds. We're breaking this... The, these chains, all right, that uh, the self-proclaimed white man, Esau, Edom, have put on our people. When I say our people, I'm speaking of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Through the teaching and the tutelage of the elders, spraying down from Yahweh, with the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, all right, the Holy Spirit. We know these things and we do these things. That's why the scriptures say what? We wrestle against flesh and blood, not, Salaki, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual power. In, uh, in high places and that's that's who the battle that's who we fighting against man and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has equipped it with the tools us with the tools to do that so we should utilize those to the best of our ability and do the work man it says that verse 29 that no flesh should glory in his presence you know me and the brother Kapatis I was talking about that the other day and that's what a pride is you know no flesh we don't have pride to glory in, this, in, in our flesh like we discovered some great thing it says but to him but of him are ye in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh has made, who, who of Yahweh is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that accordingly, as it is written, he that glory, let him glory in Yahweh. All right? And that's what we're doing. We're glorying in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And the fact that he gave us this word, all right, and not many people are going to get this word, man. All right, two-thirds of our people, which is a large portion, are not going to get this word. They're not going to embrace it, man. They're going to fake the folk. Hey, but it's only so long fake Israelites can pretend, man. You know, they're going to get into that. Hey, this is the foolishness of preaching. All right, I look like a fool to, to, uh, to, a, to a, a, a group of people just walking past, a group of people on the date. You know, I look like a fool, but I, if they see and knew, that's where fake come in with, with the Lord has in store for, for me, Salaki, it's kind of raining. It's kind of raining. The elements, the elements are happening, you know. If, if they knew what the Lord had in store for me and, and, and men that are, that are doing these things that the Lord has uh, commanded us to do, I wouldn't look like a fool, so to speak, but the Lord knew that he would set this up like that, you know. But really, in reality, to us, those people at the mosque, those people at those uh, those little bootleg ass temples. Those those are some goddamn fools, man. <laughs> those people in them harlot houses committing that witchcraft that they call the church. You know, committing witchcraft. You know, they feast our smoke in his nose. The Lord called them out in the book of Isaiah, 66th chapter, 65th chapter, and he let you know too at that last one, what's that 66 15, with fire and with sword and with chariots, but he plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And that shows you that the Lord don't love, accept, or protect every and anybody, man. The Lord has a standard chosen elect that he's gonna give to present his word to the world. Matter of fact, let me get this in Philippians. It's Philippians uh, 2. Is it Philippians? Hold on, let me get this. My page is kind of wet. Bear with me, Akim, Apostles, Elders, anybody who might be watching, you know, bear with me on this. My page is kind of wet. But I know it's in Philippians, the second chapter, God. This is Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. This is a great work that we're doing. 
It says, Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless sons of Yahweh, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. So we're shining as lights in the world, man. And I always say it, a light could be a beacon or it could be a blinder, man. We're that light that's going to show the elect of Israel or we're going to blind and confound the rest of this world. But ain't nobody going to fuck with us. That's why the Lord said he will not give He will give you a mouth which they will not be able to gainsay nor resist. Hey, he who, who, who rests in the uh, assembly of the congregation, he departed from this way, rest in the assembly of the congregation of the dead, like it says in Proverbs. Just to blend back on that, this is going into my next point, man. Everybody ain't chosen, man. It says, uh, this is Matthew 8 and uh, verse 20. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And that's humility. You know, you think about what you don't have, but every, you, you, nobody considers that the Lord put away all that to do this work, man. It says, And another of the disciples said, And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, Suffer me first to go bury my father. But Yahweh Shai said unto them, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. All right? How could the dead people that were physically already dead bury another dead man? It's impossible. But let those people in the world deal with those things of the world. You know, no soldier entangles himself with the affairs of this world, man. He who humbles himself should be exalted, man. We're about to be exalted, man. And the Lord, hey, man, the Lord is doing his thing with us, man. So if you're in this truth and you're in this thing and you understand it, man, and the severity of what's about to happen to these people in this place, do the work. Call Allah, Yim, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth and to the hopeful elect. Shalom.